rocket's a most impressive thing, but it's not all the smoke and flames that make it go. What's happening is that a whole lot of gas is coming out the back, and while the rocket pushes the gas away, the gas pushes the rocket away, and that's how it goes, and that's the principle of a jet. Well, it's hard to make a rocket like that, but you can make a little jet, in fact, a jet boat. It won't go fast, but it should go if you do it right. And the way to start is to get a bit of plywood that's about the same size as your hand. Mine's bigger than yours, but get a piece that covers your hand, and that's not a bad starting point. And then cut the end to a point. That's the bow of the boat. If it's too large, it won't move freely through the water. If it's too small, it'll sink. So you may have to experiment. You can always cut it down if it's too big. We'll keep on cutting. In the end, you'll get that sort of result. And that's the body of your boat. Nice and wide. Very stable. OK? That's the body of the boat. For the jet motor, you'll need a metal and an aluminium pill tube or something similar. That's a pill tube. That's an old film tube. And that's the one we'll use and the one we're going to show you. But here's how you set it up. Get a pin or a sharp nail and right in the middle of that screw-on lid, it has to be a screw-on lid really, just make a tiny hole. Really no more than a pin hole. That's where the gas is going to come out. In your case, steam. OK, put that to one side. Now we need to make a cradle for it. And that you make out of wire, just uh, ordinary flexible wire. Bend it round here, put legs on it, and really manoeuvre it until the thing is sitting just far enough away from the deck to slide in a couple of candle stubs. As high as that, it will topple over, so cut the legs down with a pair of pliers. When you've got them right, you can measure them on the deck and try and get the whole thing central. Make little holes to put those legs in by biffing with a nail there and there. That means you can jam the legs into those and twist the wire around until the jet motor is held like that. One at the back as well and make sure that the thing is horizontal and probably is a bit further down than that because all you want is clearance to get a candle stub in like that. Okay, well how do you make the candle stubs? The best way is to get a candle, burn it down so it's easily lit, put it flat and placing a knife on it just roll it back and forth all the way around until that end pops off. If you do it like that, you're going to have a wick that's easy to light. If you try and cut it and then light it, it's really difficult to get that unpoking out bit of wick to light. So you end up with a couple of those, and two of them gives, gives you twice the flame, and that gives you twice the heat, you steam up faster, and then the whole thing is ready to go. Well, if I'd assembled that and kept everything right, it would look like this finished article. Here we go. You see the jet is horizontal, it's just above the candle flames, and the thing is quite large. So if I unscrew that, put in a tiny bit of water, don't use too much or else your candles will run out before the steam is up, just about that amount. And if you can use hot water so much the better, you'll get steam up a lot faster. OK, get that ready there. Light up the candles and as soon as they're burning, put the jet motor on. You should be able to get steam up in no time at all. That's looking pretty good. Now be careful you don't get your hands anywhere near the steam. You can see the steam racing out the back there. OK. Move it over and plonk it carefully on the surface of the water. And if it's not top heavy and it's not too small and everything's right, it should very smoothly and slowly zoom across as a jet boat. Not fast, but a jet all the same. Thank you.